Hey fam, good morning. Um, so I just want to help you with planning a little bit. Um, I know a lot of you have, you know, you work a full-time job, you have, some of you are in school, parenting, all these kinds of things. So I want to help you figure out how on Sunday, if you take 10 to 15 minutes and plan out your week, this will make all the difference in how you make yourself a priority. So get yourself a planner, all right? Sometimes this kind of planner is good. Sometimes like an empty, like this kind of planner is good. Sometimes if you have like a laid out calendar like this, it can be good. And what I want you to do is take a few minutes and say, okay, Monday through Friday, I work eight to five. Okay, we're just gonna use this as an example. So every day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. is work. So I have to be in the shower, have my kids ready, etc. by let's just say 7 a.m., okay? So 7 a.m. is when you have to start like really getting focused on leaving, getting your kids where they need to go, etc. So at five o'clock, you know you have a commute home, you're gonna make dinner, you're gonna spend time with your family. So let's say you do that until about 7.30, all right? So from seven, basically seven in the morning to 7.30 at night, you're busy, okay? Like that is, you have no time in between there, all right? So what time are you going to bed at night? What time are you waking up in the morning? How much time are you spending on your phone? Social media is getting you nowhere. If you are picking up your phone before your workout, your food prep, your God time, knock it off. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Stop wasting your time on social media if you're not making time for your exercise, okay? Or your God time, especially. So let's say that you are intentionally gonna go to bed by 10 o'clock. Okay, let's just say 10 o'clock bedtime. And you wanna sleep at least seven hours, all right? So that puts you at 5 a.m. So you're gonna get up at 5 a.m. every morning, all right? So maybe you need to go to bed at 9 or 9.30 so you can have time to like read or wind down or maybe you wanna do your devotional time in the evening. I recommend it in the morning. It starts your day off better, but that's just me. So we wanna make sure that you're getting seven to eight, nine hours of sleep if you possibly can. That's not really uh, realistic for most people. So let's just make this a realistic situation, all right? So we're going to bed at between nine and 10. We're shutting off our phone and we're getting up at 5 a.m. So that gives us, if we get up at 5 a.m., that gives us basically one hour. One hour, we can do our devotional time. We can bust out a 15, 20, 30 minute workout and we can make our shake, all right? So by six o'clock, you're getting in the shower, you're getting ready for your day. So your kids and whatnot are ready and awake by 7, 7.15 so that you can get them wherever they need to go, just as an example, all right? So scheduling out your week so it looks like that is vital, all right? So maybe you know Monday, Wednesday, okay, let's just say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you wanna get a workout in. Monday and Friday, you're gonna give yourself a little bit of grace. If you haven't worked out at all, going to a five day a week schedule probably isn't realistic for you, but you can make time for three days a week. So if you're implementing a new schedule, don't get up at 5 a.m. on a Monday. Do it on a Tuesday, okay? So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to commit to getting up at 5 a.m. and I'm going to work my schedule this way. If I put my kids to bed at 8 o'clock, I spend one hour of quality time with my spouse or what, whoever. Um, you can take that last time to read or do a workout. Like if you don't wanna get up in the morning, you can do it in the evening, whatever works for you. My point is sitting down on Sunday evening and looking at your week and saying, okay, Thursday, I have an appointment at 10.30, I have an appointment at one. I have to travel for my one o'clock appointment. So when can I get up and get all of these things done? I've been struggling to wake up in the morning. So Thursday, I have to intentionally wake up when Daryl's alarm goes off at 4.30 because I have to have my work day done, my workout, my shower, and everything done so that I can leave here by 10.10 to get to my first appointment. So what does my morning need to look like? How can I best use my time in that morning to make sure that I'm getting things done? Because when I come home from my appointment at three or four in the afternoon, I'm not gonna feel like doing anything, all right? So lay your whole week out, write down your schedule, 
I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at work, and I have a day at home. So you can re schedule that day however it looks best for you but getting a planner where you can mark these things out and then schedule your workout like you schedule your hair appointment you're not missing your hair appointment if your hair appointment's more important than your workout appointment you gotta refocus those priorities okay so make a plan sitting down for 15 minutes with your husband and saying hey listen these are the things that we have going on this week i really want to make sure i'm getting into a good workout routine i need you to take over cleaning up the kitchen or getting the kids their bath time. And then by the time they're done with bath time, then I will have had my workout done or my miracle morning or whatever the thing is. Figure it out, make it work for your family, but you have to set an intentional schedule, okay? Be intentional with your time. Stop wasting it on social media. Stop, stop, stop. We don't check our emails. We don't get on social. We don't check into this group at all until our devotional time and our prayer is done in the morning you want to do your reading in the evening fine but do not go one morning without starting your day with a prayer of gratitude if you are struggling and how to do anything else in your life start keeping a gratitude journal one to three to five things that you're grateful for every day it can be kleenex boxes or cute pens or fun planners it doesn't have to be anything like ginormous like stop overthinking it we're letting ourselves get so overwhelmed by things that just don't matter. Staying off social media is going to drastically improve your life. Okay. I promise. I know because social media is my business. I have had to set boundaries, not saying I'm perfect at it, but I've had to set boundaries so that by such and such a time, I'm not on my phone from 10 AM to 2 PM as far as scrolling goes, unless I'm posting or doing a story. I get on, I get off. Okay. There've been times where I noticed that I scroll. I did it this morning. I was like, Nope, not a good use of my time put the phone down. I honestly shut it off during my prayer time this morning. So set boundaries with yourself. Keep a gratitude journal. Make a plan so that you know exactly how your week looks moving forward. And I promise you in the next couple of weeks, you're going to get it down. Give yourself some grace here. Make sure that you're take, giving yourself three weeks to figure out how this is going to look. But put your phone down. If you want to have some social media time in the evening, it, set a timer on your phone. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. If you want to scroll, scroll, but stop wasting your time on social media when you have not spent time with Jesus, done your workout, drank your shake, prepped your food for the day. Do it. You have to be the one to set the boundary. Pray for the self-discipline to do the things. Write down every day. This is what I'm grateful for. Write down that you're grateful that you hit your goal this month. Maybe you have a debt payoff goal. Maybe you have a weight loss goal. Maybe you want to be better about contacting your friends or making plans to do things with people. Like whatever the thing is, be intentional about it. Stop wasting your time on social media. Please, I beg you. There are far better ways to spend your time. Family, movement, reading, movement, devotion, reading. Like prioritize, man. It's not easy, but man, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Pretty soon, you're not even going to miss your social media, okay? So tell me what your um, plan looks like for the week. Tell me if this makes sense to you. Tell me if you need to get a planner, if you need some help scheduling around your days, if you're willing to commit to the social media um, situation, drop me like a phone emoji or like a thumbs up emoji or something below this video, and let's be intentional about not wasting our time, okay? I hope this has been helpful to you. If you need help making a specific plan for you, reach out. I'm here. I want to help you. Okay. All right. Now go do something good for yourself. God bless.